Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your August 2019 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising signs. All right, so Virgo, there is the Four of Cups that just came right out. Interesting. So Four of Cups energy can represent several different things. It can be like emotional boredom, feeling flat. Um, for other Virgos, there could be an offer that's coming in. Maybe you have to think about this for a little while because in some way it might not be exactly what you wanted. So uh, if you are a Virgo that is receiving some sort of offer, it can be an offer of love. I wouldn't turn it down right away. I would maybe think about it for a little while. Um, for this reading, Virgo, I'm using the pre-Raphaelite tarot deck. I'm also going to be putting down a second layer with the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. I will be pulling you an overall additional guidance card, a love and relationship focused uh, oracle card, and then a health and well-being oracle as well. All right. Focusing on the month of August 2019 for Virgo. And if you are a Virgo that has a birthday in August, happy birthday, Virgo. Looking at the month of August for Virgo. All right, Virgo, so the overall energy for you guys for the month of August is we have the Four of Pentacles. All right, let's see here. You have a few fours here. So we've seen the Four of Cups just pop out when I was shuffling. And um, now we have this Four of Pentacles. You have two other fours here. And so... For some of you, you're dealing with, you could be dealing with um, family matters, also anything really to do with career, also the home. For me, four speak about your foundation, your security, your stability. Now here we have the four pentacles underneath it. We have the seven of pentacles here. So some of you Virgos have planted some, some seeds here planted some seeds and now maybe you're waiting. You're waiting for that growth, waiting for those seeds to sprout. For some of you, this is you being patient, not giving up. This is you holding on um, here with what it is that you've invested in. You've already planted those seeds. Uh, Seven of Pentacles can also be you assessing. You assessing a situation, assessing something, uh, maybe asking yourself, do you wanna let go of this? So some of you could be looking at something very closely. And again, with these fours, it's going to affect either the home, the family environment, or it also could be something with finances and career. Now, underneath the Seven of Pentacles, I do have uh, the Knight of Cups here. So, yeah, there's definitely offers coming in. Uh, you have choices here in August, but some of you, I feel like you're going to maybe spend some time alone here. You will need to think about these choices that are in front of you. And also some of you could be asking yourself some important questions. Do you wanna continue maybe investing in something here in August? Or do you wanna make some changes? Right at the center here, I have the Nine of Pentacles crossed by the Ace of Swords. And so uh, Nine of Pentacles is someone who's financially secure, successful. So um, for some of you Virgos, this is, this is you. You're in a good place. Um, maybe you're a business owner. You might have planted some new seeds here. Maybe you're trying to grow your business or make some changes on the job front here. Other Virgos, you could be dealing with a very independent person. Um, Ace of, Ace of Swords in the challenge position. 
if this is a person around you who's significant, maybe you need to uh, communicate with this person. Communication, I feel like, might be a challenge right at the start of the month. For some of you, this is, I feel, communication. You're trying to maybe communicate with someone. Other Virgos um, could be waiting on news, waiting on communication, again, in regards to something financial, something uh, to do with the family, the home. The Ace of Swords is a, is a card of victory, but it's victory after overcoming some, some challenges. So um, for some of you, you're very close to a cycle co completing here. We have the nine, we have the one. And so for some of you, you're very close to a cycle completing. Here at your foundation, though, we have the two of swords. So that's interesting. Uh, maybe prior, some of you Virgos maybe had to make a decision. You might have felt a little stuck. The two of swords for me can be someone who's not taking action. They're not really doing anything because they don't know exactly um, what it is that they should do. And so for some Virgos, maybe at the start of the month here, what's needed is maybe you communicating, you speaking your truth, taking some sort of action, maybe even signing something for some of you. But this is something you felt hesitation with prior or you had to wait on a decision. You felt a little stuck prior. And then in the recent past, I do have the Ace of Wands. So a new adventure. Um, we have this opportunity that came in prior or the potential was there to start something new, Virgo, that was very exciting. Uh, it could also be something that you're passionate about. Um, so for some of you, it could be a new business something you're planting seeds with though, something you already planted seeds with Virgo. Some of you are maybe making some changes here, making some changes. Um, if this is, if this is like a new business that you started prior or you're, if you're trying to grow your business, you're definitely making some changes here with that in August. Now what's interesting is we do have the moon crowning you. So listen to your intuition here. Maybe prior, Virgo, if you had to make an important decision, maybe you're feeling a little stuck. Maybe you were trying to go within, uh, but you know maybe you just didn't know what to do prior. This is in August, your intuition speaking to you. Pay attention to your dreams as well. Some of you are having some very vivid dreams. And if you were unable to maybe see something clearly prior, um, I feel like what's needed is you spending some time alone, uh, meditate if you like to meditate. Uh, this is this is that clarity coming in for you. For some of you, you will know what it is that you have to do here. And that could be in regards to making changes, letting go, changing things up here. Also, some of you could be moving into the unknown here. We have two aces, and I just mentioned a cycle completing. So some of you are moving forward, maybe into the unknown. You don't know exactly what it is that you're getting into. But you know what? I mean, sometimes that's good. Now, here around the second week, we do have another four. We have the four of swords. So here at this time, you could be spending time alone, going within, contemplating, certain things. Uh, if you were, you know, lacking in the sleep department prior Virgo here around the second week, you might be recharging your batteries here at this time. Could be catching up on your sleep. And if you were struggling with uh, making a decision prior, this could be the time, you know, when you're actually making that decision. Uh, because we have that Four of Swords, and then in the position of your power, so energy around the third week here, we have the Lover's card. So this can be you uh, making a choice, Virgo, you making that important decision. Now, for some of you, it could be um, on the love front, but it certainly doesn't have to be. But maybe some of you 
want to be single here with the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. You are maybe hesitant. Should I make this cut? Um, you know, should I let go with the um, with the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in the challenge position? Should I let go? Should I make this cut? Should I use the sword? Some of you had to sleep on it, and here around the third week of August, you could be you could be making that decision. Now, what's interesting is in the position of how others are viewing you, I have the Five of Wands, which is someone who's maybe a little competitive. It's definitely someone who is very passionate. Now, for those of you that this is on the left front, there could have been like a, a clashing of energies, you know, you feeling one way, your partner feeling the other. Uh, or the opposite, and maybe there was like a lot of bickering, a lot of back and forth, uh, a lot of petty arguments. Um, so, I mean, sometimes that can add up. So, I mean, I could be reading for some Virgos with that. Maybe you're on the verge of being single or... For some of you, could be using the sword and you might be moving towards being single. Or if you're a Virgo, that has maybe been single for a while. I mean, maybe you've been very focused on your career. There might have been a spark. And I could be reading for some Virgos that maybe you even have choices in love here. Um, when it rains, it pours, right? So. Some of you Virgos that maybe have been very focused on your career, you might have some, some opportunities in love here. This can be people competing for you, Virgo, here at this time. Some of you have multiple options here, and you might not be acting on them here right at the start of the month because you maybe don't know which person you should move towards, and so you're just kind of waiting chilling, relaxing. Um, maybe you want to see how things play out uh, here, you know, and then in the in the hopes and fears, I have the chariot. So some of you will jump in the driver's seat at some point. Maybe you need to, you know, maybe spend some time alone, sit back, observe if you do have people competing for you, Virgo. Um, but when you feel as though the time is right, you will make your move. For some of you, maybe reach out to someone, speak your truth, or use this sword. Uh, the chariot is another card of victory. I feel like some of you are moving into the unknown, um, but you are, as long as you don't give up on what it is that you're planting seeds and investing in, as long as you don't give up on it, you're going to actually see results. You're going to actually be successful, Virgo. Uh, the sign of cancer could be significant. Maybe some of you are involved with the cancer because I have the cherry and I have the moon here. So the sign of cancer is significant for some of you. Uh, here, energy that you have leaving the month going into September, Virgo, we have the four of wands. And so very nice, very nice. Um, there could be celebrations here at this time. A home could be significant at this time. So you could be maybe throwing a party here right at the end of the month, um, spending time with loved ones. You know, maybe around the second week, some of you Virgos just wanted to be alone. Um, but here at the end of the month, you definitely could be feeling more social here at this time. Now, those of you that had to make a decision about a relationship, the Four of Wands can be a commitment. For me, it it, it is uh, one of those long-term commitment cards. And so maybe some of you have made that decision and you could be settling down with someone. Uh, maybe some of you are getting engaged here at this time. You're moving into that unknown could be letting go of, again, that single chapter of your life. Some of you might have been single prior. So very, very interesting, Virgo. Let's put down a second layer here for Virgo, August 2019. Looking at August 2019 for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? Please show me.
All right, so we have these fours. I just had um, the nine of cups that tried to flip out. So now we've seen a couple of nines. So some of you Virgos, a uh, cycle's definitely completing. Yeah. For some of you Virgos, love is coming in. Here at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you Virgos, this is your energy. Um, but yes, of course, uh, some of you Virgos, there could be a fellow Earth sign person who's significant. You could be getting into a relationship with a, another Earth sign. Here, right at the center here, we have the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the Ace of Rods. So now we have the Ace of Rods twice. So we have it in the, the recent past. So for those of you that this is on the love front, this was a spark. Now it could have been again with a, a fellow Earth sign. Uh, for other Virgos, this Queen of Pentacles is you, the Earth Mother. Um, those of you that it's not on the love front, I mean, this is you very passionate about your career, your business, if you're a business owner. Some of you are very successful. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles here, the Queen of Pentacles. Now, maybe you had this amazing idea, but maybe you had to kind of sleep on it. You need some time to figure it out. Maybe you didn't act prior. So those Virgos that this is on the career front or you've had this amazing idea. This is something that's going to come to fruition here. But I see, I see you planning. I see you planting new seeds. Some of you very passionate here about this. But it's almost like you got to think about it. You have to plan it, Virgo. At your foundation, we have that Two of Swords and I have Judgment. So I feel like some of you, this was you stuck. Knowing that you had to make a decision, um, but some of you having difficulties with doing that. So I feel like some of you were a little hesitant. You didn't know. Yes, for some of you could have been waiting on a decision to come in, but this was definitely some stagnant energy that you were dealing with, some slower moving energy. Now, those of you that this is on the love front, judgment can speak about second chances. And I'm definitely getting that for some of you Virgos. So we did just have Mercury in retrograde. I mean, maybe some of you ran into someone. This could have been an ex or something like that. Maybe you were unsure. If you were trying to make a decision about someone from your past, you know, that can explain this two of swords energy here where you were a little stuck. Knight of Pentacles is someone who moves forward at their own pace. They're very cautious. They take baby steps. Here in the recent past, we have that Ace of Wands and then we have the Fool. So yeah, an exciting new beginning, a new path. Here with the Fool, it might require you taking a risk, a leap of faith, going for it, trying something new. For others, breathing life back into something that maybe you thought was was gone. Um, here, crowning you, we have the moon and then we have the hermit. So yeah, some of you spending time alone. We also have that four of swords here in the near future. Going within, contemplating, looking for answers, clarity. For some of you, maybe doing some soul searching here, but really trying to go within and, and figure out maybe what you should do, how you want to do something, no matter how you resonate with this on the love front, but also those of you that this is more career. Very, very intuitive. I like this for you guys. Um, very, very intuitive. It's like you're moving in this direction. You're on this new path and it's like you're moving at your own pace. I love it. You're planning it out. And everything is unfolding for you. And I feel like for some of you, it's meant to be. It's meant to kind of happen this way. You have some really nice energy here, Virgo, for August. And then around the second week, we have the Four of Swords with the Six of Cups. So yeah, again, some of you, someone from your past is returning here. Uh, now, they could have popped back up in maybe July, but you were maybe a little guarded, you weren't sure, and so you need some time. Some of you are thinking about it here, and you could be making a decision around the second, third week. 
some of you around this time of the second week, you're spending quite a lot of time alone here with the Hermit and the Four of Swords. You're maybe thinking about the past at this time. For those of you that this is on the love front, you might feel like a, a deep soul connection with this person. But also here we see... We see passion. We see um, this very passionate energy. There might have been a spark. Maybe you haven't seen this person in a long time. For some of you, if it's not an ex, this could be someone you went to school with. Um, with the Six of Cups, this could be someone you grew up with here, and maybe you're seeing them for the first time in maybe 20 years. Um, and, you know, there could be that spark here with this Ace of Rods. And then in the position of your power, we have that lover's card, and then we have the seven of rods. So seven of rods, Virgo, is a very, very passionate energy. For some of you, you're now feeling inspired. You needed some time to think about it, but now around the third week, you're feeling quite passionate, pretty inspired here. I feel like your mind is made up here. The majority of you that had to make a decision, your mind is made up here, and this is you... Um, you know, now moving forward, maybe taking action in the position of how others are viewing you. We have that five of wands and then we have the moon. So we have the moon twice. This is very interesting. We have the moon twice. So some of you are maybe dealing with a cancer. Maybe some of you are with the five of wands. You could be battling a cancer. For those of you that you're already involved with a cancer, could be something to do with children, family, with the fours. You standing your ground with what it is that you want, Virgo. With the seven of rods. And you know what? Around this time of the third week here in August, pick and choose your battles here. Um, watch your communication. With this combination, I feel like there could be misunderstandings. You could be taking something wrong. If there is like electronic communication, text messaging, emails, things like that, things can be misconstrued here at this time. So just know that maybe for some of you not all is what it seems so really watch your communication here at this time just to avoid conflicts and things like that misunderstandings in the hopes and fears we have the chariot and then we have strength so some of you are maybe hoping to have that inner strength to be able to move forward and take action here at this time to have courage here at this time to make these you know, important decisions. And then energy that you're leaving the month here with, we have that four of wands and then we have the lover's card. So we now have the lover's card twice. So some of you Virgos are maybe making a commitment here. If you didn't already make a decision, if you're choosing between lovers, you could be doing that here at this time. Um, but some of you are maybe settling down. You're moving towards a committed relationship here. So very nice, Virgo. Very, very nice. Um, those of you that it's not on the love front, if you had something to, going on in regards to children, family matter, the home, anything like that, there could be a decision coming in here at this time. You could be celebrating a decision with the Four of Wands, a positive outcome with something. Maybe you have to wait on this and maybe there's a lot of uncertainty with this, but just stay positive. Let's pull you an additional guidance card, Virgo, for August. Virgo. Okay, interesting. Hmm, another sign had this. I want to say Aries. So make sure you're watching your other signs. You might have actually had this twice. Um, but focusing on love and relationship matters for Virgo here for August 2019. What else does Virgo need to show, show me?
All right, Virgo. Now focusing on health and well-being. Virgo, August 2019. What else does Virgo need to know? Please show me. Health and well-being for Virgo. All right, and what I'm going to do very quickly for, for you, Virgo, uh, I use this deck uh, over on Vimeo for my love tarot forecast. But those of you that this is on the love front, I'm just going to pull a card here focusing on that Four of Wands and the Lovers card, which we have here at the end of the month, month which is beautiful. Um, so those of you that are getting into relationship, I want to just take a, a closer look at this Virgo. You have the Lover's card twice. You have uh, Judgment here at your foundation. You have the Ace of Rods twice. You have the Ace of Swords. You have the Six of Cups. And so for some of you, this is a new relationship or you're reconciling with someone. We have strong Cancer energy here. We also have Earth energy. So some of you could be involved with a fellow Earth sign. Maybe they have Cancer in their chart. Okay, so we'll look at that in a minute. The overall additional guidance card, Virgo, is a blessing for solace and hope. So I believe it was Aries. So you might have Aries in your chart, Virgo. So this is healing energy, needing to have hope, needing to keep the faith. For some of you, something isn't over. That's what I'm getting with this. Something is not over. So there's going to be healing, needing to have hope. Looking at love life, be in the present, and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Very nice. So for some of you with this combination, if you were losing hope with something on the love front, if you were losing hope, very much needing to stay positive, dream of the future. Some of you might need to ground yourself because we do have the moon twice here which is a more emotional energy. And then looking at health and well-being, expect a miracle. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for your miraculous intervention and healing energy, which has restored the health of. So that could be you, but it also could be a loved one, a child. If someone had something on the health front um, that was ongoing, expect a miracle. So we have a positive change coming in with that. For whoever around you was dealing with a health matter, could be you, Virgo, as well. Now, looking at, we clarified this um, lover's card and the four of wands. We have the element of water. And so, yeah, some of you, it's definitely a cancer, but if not a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio for some of you. So very nice, Virgo. I, I feel like it's going to be a nice, uh, light month for you. Very nice. Lots of healing energy, positive energy coming in. Yes, for some of you, I feel like you're kind of leaping into the unknown here. Uh, you might need to ground your energy at certain times, but just go with it. Go with the flow. You have some very, very beautiful energy coming up. For some of you, you have new love coming in. So very nice, Virgo. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttarot.com. Uh, over on Vimeo, I do have the Love Tarot forecast for the month of August. Over there, that link is below if that's something you're interested in. All right, Virgo, have a great month. Take care.